In this session of Weaving Basics, we will learn how to make a repair heddle. So, um, this loom is now ready to weave. I want to make sure that everything is ready to go on it, that there are no threading mistakes or errors, any place that I've missed a heddle, any place that there's been incorrect threading. To test that out, I use a completely different color thread than I normally would with my weaving. And I just insert that, and I'm gonna go through one sequence of the weaving that I would do just to check. There it is there. Here. And when I start weaving, I always do three or four rows first before I beat back to the beginning. Two, three. That starts to close these in here. And I'm sensing that there is an error in this particular area here. It looks to me like there are double threads, so I have to go through and figure out what my story is. I'm going to start in here because I can see my errors right in this area here. So four, two, one, four, oh, that's where the problem is right there. This thread should have been on shaft four, not shaft three. I really don't want to have to re-thread the whole loop, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a repair heddle to fix that little problem there. I'm going to isolate the heddle, there it is there, Find a piece of completely different colored yarn that's quite thick. I tend to use a 4-8 cotton. I figure out what it is. I have two on shaft three. This one here should have been on shaft four. I'm going to move to the back of the loom. So I've isolated that this is the thread that needs to be fixed here. It's on shaft three. It needs to be on shaft four. I have my repair heddle string here, 4-8 cotton doubled different colors so that I can see it. I put the loop around the bottom of the shaft and make a lark's head so that it's attached firmly. I then take this and I tie a knot that is the same height as the bottom of the heddle eye. And that's going to be about there. I put my errant thread into it. I tie another knot at the top of the heddle eye. These are just overhand knots, about there. And then I attach this part of my repair heddle to my top shaft bar. I'm actually wind them around, not so that they're very tight, but they do need to move a little bit. And then I tie several knots here to make sure that it holds. Like so, and all I need to do now is snip off the ends. My repair heddle is now in place, and what I have to do now is go to the front and take it out of this heddle here because it has been reinserted in the proper heddle. So I go to the front. I'm going to undo the knot, the bout that has that not in it, that mistake in it. Comes now. There it is there. I'm going to find the mistake, pull that thread out of my bunch, pull it out from the heddle it wasn't supposed to be in. It's now left in the heddle it is supposed to be in. And then all I have to do is slay it through the front there. Push these back over. Tie this one back up again. On that side. And on that side. And here. One. Two. 
and my mistake has been fixed. You can do a repair heddle very early on in your weaving when you're first checking for your warp and a repair heddle can be made at any time. It doesn't have to be made at the beginning of your weaving. As soon as you notice that you have a mistake in your threading, check to see if your threads are actually on the correct shafts and if they're not, then make yourself a repair heddle.